Hi. So as you can probably see, I'm here at Stone Court, anxiously awaiting Fred and the rest of his bio group. Leave it to Fred to be late to a meeting that he himself scheduled. And this is Max Garth. Yeah, no, we, we met. Uh, right. So what have you been up to lately, Max? You know, the usual, bussing tables, trying to avoid customers, doing Fred's bio. <laughs> Sounds kind of lonely. No, I, I mean, I wouldn't put it like that. Do you Fred and the others come around a lot? Yeah, almost, almost every day now. Maybe you have a shot after all. And what could that mean? Well, there's a certain person who might start to develop feelings for you if he saw you almost every day. I don't know if two people seeing each other every day would make them develop feelings for each other. I mean, it'd probably just make them sick of each other. Not when one of them is as charming as I hear Thomas Lidgate is. Lidgate? You're serious? No. He's like the straightest guy I can imagine. I'm, is this all just a ploy for me to say that? I mean, you could no, just ask me. I, I'm just wondering what you think of him. I, do you like him? Is he nice? I mean, I kind of find it hard to like people who talk to me without actually hearing me. But, I don't know. To be honest with you, he's pretty arrogant. That's okay. I think I like a little bit of arrogance in a guy. If there's anyone who could decide just how much arrogance she wants in her man, it is Rosamund Vincy. There is nothing wrong with a little bit of arrogance. I think it leads to confidence, which is a great thing. Besides, I'm sure Fred is way more arrogant than Lidgate is. I would beg to differ. I don't understand why you always defend him. <laughs> you know as well as I do that Fred is a complete disaster. I doubt he's even gonna get into a halfway decent med school. So what? What if he didn't go to med school at all? But he has to go to med school. I mean, think about how much our dad has paid to get him to this point. I mean, imagine if Fred graduated without any prospect of a medical career. Yeah, you know, I can actually imagine that pretty easily. Besides, you know he would make a terrible doctor. Then I don't get it. Why are you still defending him? No, I'm not defending him. I'm defending any possible future patients he might have. We'll figure it out eventually. There is no point in having a conversation with you, Max. You always take Fred's side. Well, why not? You'd always take mine. Don't tell me you two are like... Uh, oh, no. God, no. Uh, if that's what you're worried about, just forget it. Uh, if he were to ever ask me out, I would definitely say no. Not that he ever would ask me out. God, you're always so negative about everything. You are always so exasperated. I didn't mean to argue with you, Max. I know. You never do. It's a documentary, actually. Mm. Would you like to sit? Sure. Hello, um... Rosamond Vinci. Rosie. Oh! I'm Fred's sister, unfortunately. You're the famous <laughs> Rosamond Vinci. I've heard so much about you. I'm Thomas. Thomas Lidgate. So, Fred's barely told me anything about you. Really? Well, what would you like to know? Everything. 